MTG Joe here, and I'm uh, going to be playing another Historic deck. Uh, I'm trying to cover a lot of the popular decks you might be encountering on the ladder. Um, there's not really a tournament series right now to really give out deck lists, so I want to highlight some of the uh, better performing or more popular archetypes. Um, we're running into a lot of Winota on the ladder, so it's kind of giving you an experience there of what the deck's like. Uh, if you do want to see some gameplay of Winota, let me know, but it's pretty straightforward and linear deck for the most part, so I want to try to capture some of the other decks. Um, so this is an Esper list. It's uh, an Esper blink or Esper kind of mid-rangey list. Uh, not so much like the control list with like big mana to fairy, stuff like that. Um, so the original deck list I saw was from Aaron Gettler. Uh, he's the guy who kind of put Teamer Adventures on the map uh, last standard. He won one of the big tournaments. I've also seen Crokey's stream a uh, comparable deck. I think at one point he was like 14-0 with it. Um, so this deck here is really just looking to leverage, again, Yorian's ETB effect um, with Charming Prince. You can effectively set up a loop where on each of your turn cycles uh, you get creatures coming back and effects coming in. And then again, you have enchantments and uh, kind of ETB effects to take value. So you have stuff like Omen of the Sun, Othakaya is removal and life gain, uh, Disinformation Campaign is card advantage and card disadvantage to your opponent. Um, then you have like Arkans of Sun's Grace that pays off with all these enchantments, including Elspeth Conquer's Death. You can reset your Hostage Takers, your Planeswalkers, your Deputy of the Detentions. And then there's a one of uh, Shepherd of the Flock. So Shepard can return any key cards to your hand and then uh, reuse them that way there. Uh, you also have uh, six discard spells in the main uh, between Agonizing Remorse and Thought Erasure. The Surveil triggers Disinformation Campaign here. Uh, and then you have some Heartless Axe as removal. Um, and then uh, Tef and Narset kind of rounding it up. Aaron's list had um, three deputies and forget what else. It might, oh, it's three deputies, three Narsets, but I really like Hostage Taker. Um, I think it's really good against the creature decks, and a lot of the meta right now has been creature-based decks, so I think Narset's not as good in those matchups. Narset usually helps against like more controlling shells or things that are looking to draw a lot of cards. Hostage Taker can kind of screw up your opponent's game plan. Uh, and this list here, it's also playing a Yorian in the main along with the Companion, uh, just really kind of optimizing the blink effects with it. Um, sideboard wise, I took Aaron's sideboard as is right now. I think I may want a hard uh, sweeper as opposed to extinction event post board if we're running into a lot of the creature decks. Also, something like Cryo Carnarium could be reasonable. Um, we're not really packing too much in terms of smaller things, so Cry can be something good. So I'm going to try that out. Uh, but you have Baffling Ends, Disdainful Strokes, more Heartless Axe, Disputes, Ashy Offers, Graveyard stuff, and then some extinction events. Like, Extinction Event is very good against a Bosch, but most of what you're seeing is, like, the Mono Red Luris deck we were playing, or, um, like, Gruul's kind of on 2 and 3, um, which is a little bit harder to hit there. So I think I was at 99% on Mythic. Yeah, so we're close to the numbers. Uh, so we can pop into there, see how this deck goes. So as the game starts up, as always, if you do enjoy the content and you're catching this either on YouTube or Twitch, if you're on YouTube... You can drop a f uh, sub or on Twitch you can drop a follow. Both are free and easy ways to support the channel. If you do have Amazon Prime, uh, you can subscribe to free on Twitch. Uh, it does help financially a bit. A couple dollars comes my way and it doesn't cost you anything. You get one free Twitch sub each month. Um, so it is something that can help you out as well. Um, so if you can, it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, Amari generally means Winota. Uh, Thought Erasure could be okay in this matchup just to pick off the Winotas. I think we try this out. We don't really have Board Wipes main anyways, so we want to take them off value. So if I can go Thought Erasure here, take their 3 drop, Thought Erasure, take their 4 drop. Okay, so they have the Elf. Both the Kai is very nice as well. So that's definitely a Winota. I think we're okay for lands here. We're likely to draw into another land. And this is actually pretty good because I can Othakaya. So 
So they probably just play this out like as a body, which is good because I can Otakaya it. And then I follow up with double spell. So I can Thought Erasure them again. They might just play Amari this turn. They do have a window. They can play Winota this turn. Okay, they just go Goose. Okay, it might just be Bone Crusher. So let me make my judgment first by playing Thought Erasure. Ooh. Okay, so we have the land on top. So that's fine, because then I can play this out. Depending what they do, I might wait a turn with the Yorian. Just go Conquer's Death on probably Amari. So we've managed to hit two Winotas with our discard spells. I don't want Agonizing Remorse at this point. It's a little late to hit that. Ooh. Okay, so since we drew Charming Prince... I'm gonna Yori in here. Yeah. Because then Charming Prince with Yori in would let me cycle it every turn and then it'd lock them out. So Baffling Ends, Heartless Axe, Extinction Events. Uh, coming out. Shepherd's okay because it could block. Um, they're on the play, so Narset could come out for sure. Conquer's death. Probably want to shave one. Like, it's decent, but we bring in cheaper removal. Probably also take out a remorse. Deputy's fine. Maybe trim it to fairy. Probably remorse as well. Yeah, just control the board this game. Let's try it like this. It might be right to play Tef. Sounds okay. They always have Elf on one. So didn't want lands. I'm gonna go Charming Prince, try to cycle through. They probably have the advantage being on the play this game. Okay, I have a Danto. Danto's very good. We might be seeing a Winota next turn. I think we keep the arc in. And then just try to go wide. I'm probably I probably lost this one though. Even like this matchup, something like Cry would be good. Yeah, if they have the Winota already. The problem is even if they don't hit this turn, I can't hit them the next turn. So let's bring in the Agonizing Remorse. I think I want those over Shepard. Deputy's fine. Oath is fine. Maybe drop a camp. Excuse me. Drop a campaign. Probably just go like that. Really just want to disrupt their hand. Blade Draw is also going to make a difference. Turn three when is hard to deal with. It's probably the best curve you can have. Okay, extinction events nice. So 
can set up the scry. Looking for like a discard or a heartless act. No elf on one. No elf on one is nice. It's Thalia, so let's play this now. I think. So realistically, like Omen's fine because it gives me a play for next turn. this because I have extinction event with the tokens I don't want to play it out per se like next turn I can set up the scry and then omen of the sun if they have blockers uh, I feel bad now using that it's fine. still have the event I want them to commit a bit more to the board So when this leaves the battlefield, they get a 3-3, three, three, but it might be worth it for the Adonto to get it off the battlefield. So they have Winota, they'll get one trigger, I'm hoping it's something with even CMC. And then I can Extinction Event next turn. So let's resolve this trigger first, see what they get. Oh no! Well, that didn't work out as I wanted. So Thalia came in by us letting the trigger resolve. Well, that was not what I wanted to happen. Okay, so we have Teferi as well. So here... So even, opponents realizing everything on their board is even. So hopefully it's just like Umari. I could bounce it with Tef and then hold up Omen. I want to get some more things out so that way I can start get accruing value. Okay. Amari coming down. And Fauna Shaman. So here I'm going to bounce the Fauna Shaman because it takes them an extra turn to be able to find um, what's-its-face, um, Winota. Even if they have Winota in hand, it's only one trigger. I can make two blockers here. They have Winota. We're not making that mistake again. We're flashing this in now. Hactos Pro 4. A little awkward there. Only time will tell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana available. Okay, so Heartless Act is good. Heartless Act. So seven mana. 
Goes to 11. I'm taking that there. So we'll exile here. Four is actually just a really awkward spot for us. Hey Titans, going well, how about yourself? Thanks for stopping by. I need an extinction event. Arcan will do, Hostage Taker will do. So we have some draws. Heartless Act here, and Grass Marauders means I am... Okay, that's fine. We gotta hit this Marauders now. So I block here, take six, or sorry, take eight. I think I'm still dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So you come in. Yeah, I think I'm dead anyways. Problem here, like this just being unblockable for them. They're gonna hit us for six. Yeah, the Othakaya was one off. That's unfortunate. Ah, and there's the hostage taker. So let's let them make the mistake. Well, they have to attack in anyways, and I can't block. I do think I want another sweeper though on the board. I got the oath off of the end of turn step though from I blinked the omens and then I drew this on my end step. We didn't really have an out. Because the problem is, like, I needed to in that upkeep, and I probably should have scryed, but I needed to hit either Hostage Taker or Arkin to be able to block. Yeah, I can't do anything here. Ah, that one's annoying. That was so close. I think we need to fix the sideboard, though. There's too many anti control cards here, and this meta is like, it's basically all Winota. Like, Baffling End's good. Probably cut down. Disputes. Do I want another Extinction Event? Yeah, it's... Especially in Best of One, like, you need to be able to deal with Winota. Like, our post board is here. Um, I'm gonna go Kaya's Wrath. Play one of those in the side. I think we just play it like that. It gives us enough options. I think we just run it like that. That one was tough. Are you playing in the uh, arena tournament tomorrow, uh, Titans? We have a 79 percenter. How do you get to 79 percent? Omen into Tef into Arkin. Opponent is on Yorian. How? You got to Mythic. 
You're a good player enough to get the mythic. Like, I've seen like 86. Hmm. Gonna make them decide here. Are you playing Winota for the tournament? Or are you gonna play that not that other nihilist? Okay, so opponent looks to be on like a mirror. We are skilled at magic. So since this seems like more of an attrition deck, I'm just gonna take my value now. Next turn, I can remorse and omen. Okay, we are punished there. So it looks like the mirror. Um, so I can arc in, but I think I want to, especially drawing the other omen there. I want to see what's in their hand. Okay, so they have hostage taker, they have Othakaya. I think I'm going to take the taker. I don't particularly want to have them steal my Arkin. So let's steal something from their hand. Okay, so they got double shatter. I really want a disinformation campaign. Probably still fire this off now. Okay, they just, they're not having fun. Which is funny because they're playing the same deck as us. Wow. We take those here. How could you be mad? We're playing the same deck. Actually, let me give Arena a quick reset. Right now it's not too bad, but earlier when I was streaming it was being a little glitchy. I don't know if I'm crazy about the Shepherd of the Flock. A one of to blink your things. I think Yorian alone is probably enough. Played Lazav, but probably not worth. I'm just trying to think of other things with surveil. Okay, playing a numbered player, 1167. Luris is probably mono red. I think just because we have the scry lands, we do it. I'm gonna put that back for now. Luris generally. Okay, so it's not. Oh, it's um, John Dovin. So I'm just gonna set up the scry here. Drawing all our blue white lines. Doing great this match. Just we drew all our black cards, and then never. It's a bit greedy, probably, binning that swamp, but we needed some action. I can have the scry here. Narset can probably try to help me find something. I'm gonna discard the thought erasure so they're going to do a trigger on the stack to get rid of my charming prince they don't get to draw a card which is nice 
They could play Luris out here, and then they can play out Croxa each turn. Attack our hand. They have Oven. And Scorpion. That was literally the worst card we can draw against Luris. I'm actually going to do this in case I draw a block source. It lets me Heartless Act this Priest. Okay, if we don't draw a block source next turn, I'm just going to concede. That's some, like, pretty wild probability. They bring back the cat. Hit me for one. I shall miss your company. They bring back Scorpion. But even here, like, I'm killing this, but I'm not really catching up here. Okay, so Baffling ends in Extinction Events. Probably Exile their Graveyard as well. Uh, Shepherd's not that good. I'm going to get rid of the Thought Erasures and the Conqueror's Death here. Probably also... Probably also a campaign. That's a match where we just weren't really playing Magic. I don't know if we can really make a comment about the deck there, but... Ha... <sighs> We have a scry and we have an omen. I think we keep. I think I keep that. I have three two mana plays. Getting rid of the cat I think is important. Punished. Or not. Um, or still, yeah. Yikes. Where are my lands this game? Second robber and a stitcher. Oh, they found the Croxa. Them hitting Remorse is actually kind of gross. Okay, so... They don't quite have enough yet. So I'm going to pass the turn. When they go to combat, I'm going to... Kill the robber. Call of the Death Dweller. Even, even. And they have the oven. So with the oven... They're going to hit something off anyways. I'm going to Extinction Event, so I want to hit the Dreadhorde Butcher. I do take some damage like this. Let me set up my Scry so I don't give him anything good. Oh, no, 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 I screwed that up. Ah, oh, I forgot the draw. I had to split them the other way. I want the draw hostage taker. Ah, oh, da, 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 da. 
They don't have enough for Croxa. They do get to sack the Dreadhorde to deal two to me. They're one short, but they can Luris and then play Croxa. Force this Narset out of my hand. This Dreadhorde's also reasonable. Because the problem is they just sack whatever I do here. I needed a land. <sighs> yeah, I lost this one. Stumbled on lands and then never got there. Because I do this. But then they hit anyways. I needed Ashiok to both attack their graveyard. And we needed a land. Yikes! This Shepherd of the Flock's doing nothing. Um, probably another Omen. It's felt like a lot of these games we've been like a turn too late. We just need more of a buffer. I may want two board wipes main too. Like we're not playing a huge density of creatures. I think it's fine that we can board wipe. Opponents on a Bosch. Can be Gruel, can be Rakdos. No play there is actually pretty solid for us. Yep, shock. Okay, so they most likely have a shock in hand just based on how it's passing. Okay, well, they have no play till three against game one on the play. It's pretty solid for us. Um, don't want the land. Actually, don't think I mind Charming Prince, because I can start getting into the loops with it next turn. Okay, Lava Runner. Hoping they didn't have a creature. Because then I could have bounced this. This might just be a Bosch. Annex. Get to. And Firebrand. Firebrand attack in here. I really should have seen that coming. I think we're just dead. The Bosch doubles there. And I don't have any removal. Omen doesn't do it either. They just play a Bosch. This does 10, 14, 18. Um, Remorse has come out, Thought Erasure's come out, Campaign's come out. Maybe Campaign over Narset. Yeah, I think I, think I want Board Wipes main. Play deputies in the side. I'm gonna keep this hand. Uh, 
We need an untapped line. I still think we keep it. Untapped line on two. Omen's very good. So I can omen this turn. Double monkeys actually, triple monkey. Yikes. Triple monkey followed by an. At least we get to eat two of these. They do get the tokens. But I get to go Baffling and on Annex. Thank you. So Baffling end here. And then I get to Omen of the Sun. Or the Sea. Next turn, I set up the Kaya's Wrath. Actually, probably just conquers death this annex. Want more answers or a threat? We do this. Uh, exile target creature. So I can't blink the Othakaya. I can next turn. Ooh, Chandra. Yeah, so with Chandra, I'm going to blink everything next turn. I don't want to take all this damage. Next turn, I could use Charming Prince and I can get the loop going. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Um, I think I just want more action. Perfect. So we are able to stabilize there. I think we just run it back like this. We did survive triple one drop on turn two. I'm gonna keep this hand. Extinction event will just wreck them hard. Light up the stage into Chandra. They have another firebrand. I think I want to try to find something for the Chandra. The fairy's actually fine. The fairy gives me something to do next turn. And it can distract them a bit. Okay, there go Chandra. I'm actually curious to see her if they. Go get em, buddies. So they're deciding if. Interesting, because I kind of want this around, and I'm going to Extinction Event anyways, and then I have to take three. I think we just keep our life total high. They sack here. 
Yeah, if this, if this is just like an annex, we'd be in a lot better position. This kind of gets them to commit more to the board. Go get em, buddies. So it's probably a light up the stage. Oh, it's not. Wow, we have not drawn anything. Don't worry, I got this. See how they attack in here. Do you want me to phase you out of time? Only yeah. time will tell. Kind of punished there. They still had the lightning. Deputy of the Tension's not bad. It buys me a turn. Takes Chandra off the battlefield. I am not happy right now. Do I want baffling in? Probably not. I need something with card advantage. Lava Runner. We have just not drawn anything this game. Don't want to bounce. So they can abosh this turn. They can still block. They can pump this twice. The fairy would be pretty good. Omen. Like we just never had any of these to get value off this coming in. We just played a five mana four five. I think if I'm the opponent, you attack in with Phoenix and then force us to block. Second Phoenix. This can get one pump. Not blocking with this because they have the Embrith trigger. Let's see if they, I guess it's the same. If they ember into that. Extinction event would be a fantastic draw. Hostage taker or Elspeth Conquer's death, also very good draws. Kaya's Wrath is not that good. Actually, Extinction Event's pretty bad with Deputy. This might just be Escape Phoenix here. How about a scry land? Okay, a Bosch comes in. So I need to block like this. Interesting, no pumps. Plus Chandra. Ooh, that's actually very good. Oh, deck, 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 deck. What are you doing to me, deck? Deputies. Ain't cutting it. So, deputy out. Let's 
play Kaya's Wrath. And then, like there's not even a lot of field going around. And we can probably out attrition field with our board wipes. Two Heartless Axe there. I think just like another Extinction Event's good. The Exile's been super relevant. Or maybe another Baffling End. Let's run one more. The deck sweet when it gets going, it's just been very bad against all this aggro. Can't really take like a break. What's with not hitting black sources? Now we don't hit white sources. Opponent's on a Bosch, so... Do this. Kind of regret now bottoming the prince, but going omen, omen. Okay, so this is likely the death whirler variant. Go Chain Whirler here. Little awkward just of how our mana is shaped up. We've had to... Panics is going to be annoying. Holy shit. Opponent's hand's been just straight and utter gas. turn they go a Bosch and then we're dead. Jeez man. Missalandra. Okay, they have banner. Equally as bad. It's actually quite humorous. So they get one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Exactly. Oh, and they're double power. Man, these opponents have been drawing gas. Uh, Narset out. Disinformation campaign out. Trim one conquers death. Agonizing remorse. Thought erasure. Keep that in. Keep the campaigns. Keep it in our set, I guess. Keep it campaigns. Campaigns immediate value. They don't really draw cards in their deck. One drop. Light up the stage. One drop. Chain Whirler. Omen's got to find a white source.
I think we do the rest of our ranking with the Mono Red Luris deck. How about another blue black land? And this is kind of unfortunate because it's playing me into finding a white source. Okay, no play here. This could be Stomp that they have. So I can do this, or I can do that. I don't particularly want to take two. Yeah, let's do this. I think we just set up our next draw. Those are both great. Both are fantastic. This lets me go tap land, Othakaya, take down this Bone Crusher Giant. Okay, not. Quite the life gain I wanted, but still needs to take down Ferocidon. So I'm probably going to go just next turn, Yorian, play these, so then I can play out both of those next turn. Stabilize a bit more. So they have Skewer as well. This could be Bone Crusher. And yeah, I still think plan here. Just get the the value. Take a bone crusher. Yo, I'm down for both. Uh, you know what, I probably shouldn't have. It's not as good. I thought I had an extra white. Misplaying a bit now. Okay, so they just realize Arkin's too much for them. Run it back. Hopefully just steal this win. Take us back to 97 and then call it quits on Esper. We're going to do a budget list next. See if I can do a, a budget Ulamog ramp deck. Seems to be one of the more popular cards from uh, HA3. This hand is gas against Mono Red. So doing this, Mono Green Luris. Can do Stone Coil. So well, Stone Coil can do. What's this hand like? Just all the one drops. I'm just gonna take the life gain here. Next turn we can try to ambush Viper then. Take the block here. <laughs> it's actually not bad. What do you play in it? Just like all the pump spells? the two life I think I want 
the two life. This does give him an opportunity here to respond, but this also pings me some damage. So I'll do this. I'm gonna baffling end. That's a fantastic draw, so I don't have to shock myself here. And then that lets me omen. Check this out. Okay, they do that. Taking a bunch, just do this now, try to find a board wipe. More lands is not where we want to be. Baffling is very good. Let me see. Actually looks pretty sweet. Ivy Elemental is not a card that I realized is a thing. Should be able to stabilize after this turn. We're gaining a bunch of life here. Steals four, probably still fine. We have a bunch of one ones. Like it's bad if they have chain whirler off the top. Jeez, lots of lands. Huge trucks of land. I can attack with a Bosch. Okay, they opt to not. You know what's really good? Against a board of even. Yeah, it does hit our Yorian. It's the only downside. But we're just winning on 1-1s. One okay. We won the match, so we are definitely happy. I think we finished like 3-3. Three and three. Yeah, it's funny because Extinction Event just basically usually reads like a Bosch opponent loses the game. Let's see how we finished with this deck. Why aren't you logging in? Two and three. Not that good. Still six and oh with Laris. On the play, 20%. On the draw, 20%. Yikes. Okay, so I think I'm going to wrap up this one. Uh, I'll probably brew like the budget deck. Let me just cut the video. Um, thanks for those who stopped by, and catch you next time.